Folks, Dev here for your Sunday update. Voted least compelling viewing by a staff of YouTube seniors. Uh, it's a short one today. Uh, while you are watching this, if you're watching this on Sunday, I will be in the air on my way to Perth, Australia. I'll be there and Japan for a few weeks and then I'm back home or back in the studio at least. Uh, where have I been this week? What's been going on? Well, yeah, like I say, I've got four shows in Australia. First one starts on the 8th in Perth. Last one is on the, whenever the date is, uh, Brisbane. So if you're in Australia and you're interested in seeing it, it's a really uh, fantastic show we put together. So come see it or don't. Uh, this week I filmed the second Devon Townsend podcast uh, with uh, a guest. First guest is Steve Vai and then we're gonna move on from there um, and hopefully that ends up being something that is interesting enough for uh, the audience and for me to continue and if so, hey, there's 12 at least. Uh, thanks for participating in the puzzle this week. If you did, uh, psyched to re-release it in a sense uh, and now I will stop talking about it <laughs> for a while at least until my buddy who's making another film for it finishes the film and then I'm going to bug you about it again but I think I'm kind of done with that too. Uh, I've been writing a lot on my way to Australia. I have compiled uh, 90 ideas, 90 ideas and some of them I think are really, there's a lot of potential and some of them I think are, are shit but uh, I'm not going to know where it sits until I've uh, had a chance to sit with it. And fortunately, the trip to Perth is from Vancouver just over 24 hours. Uh, and most of that's in the air. So I have more than enough time to, to rifle through it. I actually saw an interview with a composer the other day, Hans Zimmer, and it was interesting because he had said when he's starting a film, and I related to this, uh, the biggest thing that he has to do is find the aesthetic and find, wrap his head around, okay, what does this world sound like? What does this world uh, have at his disposal for materials, for instruments even? And I think that uh, the reason I found that kind of relieving is it kind of put into focus something that I think I've been subconsciously doing for years as well. And that is when you're starting a new project, it's, it's about determining what sort of atmosphere you want to create for people? What sort of environment do you want people to be transported to when they put on that, that piece of work? And the formative stages are really about making those determinations. So of these 90 ideas that I have, maybe some of them will ring true. Maybe none of them will. Maybe a, a lot of them will. At this point though, as I'm listening through, my, my sense of it is there's some really intriguing stuff there, uh, but I don't know how much of it is scratching the itch, if at all. But what typically happens as well is that the ones that are intriguing, maybe there's a seed in there that you can uh, extrapolate and then take into a different direction and then that becomes something. There was, for example, uh, a midsection in a song that I was printing that on a whim, I was like, well, why don't we pitch that down half a step and just see what happens. And that half step uh, drop became compelling and the rest of the song became moot. So that's the stage that we're at. Again, a lot of what I'm trying to do with the updates and with the podcast and everything is, is uh, sort of real time, take you through that process that has been the same process since the beginning. It's always this, you know? And when I'm back in the studio after this Australian Japan run, uh, there's usually like a month of really fun work. And that's when you're, you're sort of free to, to explore things and you don't have to worry about whether or not it sounds good. It can be a distorted mess. It's like, and there's something really freeing about that because you can move quickly and you can identify what uh, you're interested in and what you're not interested in. And then afterwards, then you have to start the logistics of it. Okay. So, What's the timeline? Who's involved? What's the budget? When are we going to be able to fit this person in? You know, all those sorts of things. 
it's a real left brain, right brain uh, uh, experience. But there's typically that real creative period that lasts, you know, maybe three weeks or a month. And uh, I'm about to be able to, to well, I mean, all things going according to plan. Uh, that's the next step. And I'm excited for that because I think that there's a lot of stuff in there. All right, so I'm going to shut up about that. Atmos, uh, yeah, so I've got a bunch of work to do because I don't actually want to start writing before I get that set up. But then there's a, it's like a whole new learning curve, right, with the, uh, the time alignment and the, and the calibration and everything that goes into it. And then just learning how to do it, right? And speaking of which, because I broke my camera lens last time, I, I ended up getting another one, but it has different millimeters and a different f-stop. So now I'm closer and it's blurrier back there, but I think it's, I think it's cool. And uh, I'm bringing my camera with me to Australia so I can start to figure it out in my off time. Anyway, that's your update, update number three for the week of whatever week this is. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for the support. I'll see you. The next update will be from Australia where it's summer, so I won't be able to wear my, my hippie jacket. I'll have to bust out the, the legs and the shorts. What's the phrase? Seen better legs hanging out of a nest? That sort of thing. Yeah. I'll go play with some quokkas and I will see you next week. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Bye.